Guys, welcome back. Two days back, 23-year-old final year MBBS student committed suicide just because of the exam, an exam fear. Can you believe it is happening in the medical community? Even recently in Kerala, we lost two, three doctors very well. Like one in from cold court, he said doing DM cardiology who committed suicide. One from general medicine who committed suicide by injecting some some anesthetic drugs. and one more uh, suicide by hanging because of some uh, relationship issues so so many such incidents are happening in medical community that which that we need to uh, give a closer look into that because literally it's an alarming situation even if the medical community can handle such a thing then who can do it then how they can tell to the world that to other people we can counsel we can take uh, good care of their mental health even if they can't find their own people they can't help their own people that's a biggest issues in here so for such a thing especially those who are fearing exam i want to tell you that if you are going to write the exam you are not passing exam you still have lot of options you can rewrite the exam and or you can drop out and you can do lot of other things so why is just committing suicide committing suicide i want to tell you two things one is you are doing the biggest mistake in your life and you are disrespecting your body you know what will happen after your suicide things what will happen to your body and everything so if you respect yourself if you have uh, if you don't want to make a biggest mistake in your life don't do such a thing committing suicide is a crime that's what i want to tell you so what are the reason up there it's a crime it's not fair to do it to yourself especially in terms of students who just uh, after fearing of some exam and all things like literally i don't understand that literally it's just why they do it that see i have thousands of issues i have thousands of reasons to do such a thing but i never did that because you know literally very honestly speaking if i go to my college nobody like me nobody I just i'm just going that's it There's thousands of reason you can uh, do that in your day to day life, but the reality is that you, the one who's responsible for yourself, and you have to show yourself that you got something. You know, when you're looking at the world, who is the most successful person in the world? That's not the one who uh, was always the brilliant or something. So. Uh, respect yourself be yourself that's it and when you are studying you have stress and everything that's a part of it understand it okay when you are swimming somewhere you need to get some uh, you need to drink the water that's a law of nature exactly like that when you are in exam you need to when you are preparing for the exam you need to suffer a lot so it's a competitive type exam you need to if you want to get a good rank if you if you want to get a good mark in that you need to have that you need to accept that as a part of it otherwise is a what are you expecting like you are not robot to like like a emotionless to take the things in another way so please medicine is a tougher thing and you need to be the toughest so that you can survive over there so you can help the other people so those who thinking like uh, life is so easy or something it's not always like that even if you go to ask the ambani he will uh, he will not agree that part life is hard for everyone you need to understand that you not you need to cope up with that you need to live with that that's it when you have any issues with that talk to your friend if you don't have any friend talk to camera see i used to have a time then i used to take a lot of uh, this kind of vlogs because i don't have anybody to talk I don't have anybody to give some of my uh, issues and problems and everything. At that time, I used to talk to this uh, camera, and I used to store that as as vlog like that, because that's the one part which is giving you a, a relief from such a thing. Then you will understand that after you you know there is in a counseling part. I used to work in an enhance where I used to see these things, and the one thing they these people will tell to the patients like. take a note that take your diary or take the recording of your life record yourself in the diary something like that and then read it again after a few days and all so literally what is that it's about you have to look to your life 
so when you looking into your life in a different day and a different mood different emotion you will understand that it's not that hard so that's it so those who thinking life is hard you need to understand that you need to go to some place like in a cancer hospital there is used to be say like oh you have a hard life then go to the cancer hospital and look at the people how they suffering up there then you will understand the how much uh, value you have you have in your life see every day is a gift from god that's what i want to believe so uh, be respectful to that and be um that's a, that's the one thing that i want to tell you to the people who over up there who having this kind of thought and emotion and everything you know th- why the people even in the medical field can't um uh, solve these issues because there's a sudden uh, a rush in our hormones will happen in some situations when you when you have exam fear and you have some other relationship issues some sudden surge of some hormones will happen so in that time just take a break take yourself give some time to uh, come back to normal that's it please don't do anything bad